Hi guys. So today in the mail, I got a package. Um, I had won a bid on eBay. And um, so I just got it in the mail today and I wanted to open it with you guys. Anyway, so here we go. Sorry, I'm adjusting my camera. And you'll have to forgive my workspace. It is a mess because I've been working on things. But this is how it came. And then you pull it out and it's in these bags. And I have not looked at any of this, so we're going to look at it together. So let me do one at a time. I'm going to pass it over here for a minute. Okay. So. Package number one. Okay. Sorry. I hate how my camera is right now. But, so, package number one. And that is all that's in it. So, first off, we've got a bunch of stuff in antique bronze. And let me just say that most of this package are charms. Um, but a lot of them were western and stuff. And so I'm from Kansas. And I really like western things. So I wanted to get it really bad. Okay. Come on camera focus. So, these little wings are first. If I can get the camera to focus. I don't know what's up with this. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Then we've got some little hearts. I'm not sure if I'm going to take all of these out because that will make a very long video, but let me see. Oh, that's adorable. I like that. That's so cute. So there's those. Get off, get off. So it's like the middle of the night right now. Girls, be nice. My babies are fighting. And I'm not exactly sure what this is exactly. If you know, let me know. Kind of looks like deer horns or something oh it's a deer head okay i got it now oh sorry i wasn't even on camera do you guys see it it's supposed to be a deer head i would guess okay so there's those and there are these little double hearts which are so cute trying to hurry because I don't want to be forever a day here but there's those then this is anchors it looks like anyways and this whole lot I think cost me twenty some dollars and there's those up there and then see this right here is why I ordered the boxes because it had a bunch of western themed stuff 
so hats and I don't have any and I would love to make a Western charm bracelet that would be awesome okay and then and there was lots of things in antique bronze I should get on the camera um, and I have like no charms in antique bronze so I loved that so there's some horseshoes those are so cute I love them okay and I'm not going to take these out, but these are some other anchors, and they're, or not anchors, not anchors. I'm a dork. Ignore me. They're fish hooks. Sorry. But you can see them. They're quite large, and I don't want to get those ones out. And these are cute, too. These are feathers. And they're actually quite large. So there's those. And then here's another one. Here are some guns. And so those are really cool. It's like a devil. Those are really cool. By the way, if you keep seeing this bracelet in the video, I just recently made these. And I love it. It ha it matches a shirt that I have. Like, completely matches it. The shirt is pretty, too. And I love, love, love it. And then, I actually made these earrings to go with it. So. So, those were pretty. Here's some more fish hooks in the antique bronze. And I'm not going to open those ones either, but... They're pretty. Oh, these are gorgeous. These are roses. And they're so pretty. I'm afraid I'm going to cut my finger off. And they're copper. Let me see if I can get one for you. Alright. They're so pretty. I love those. Those are very cute. Um, here's some giant Indian heads in antique bronze. So, love those. Here are some more feathers in gold. Well, they're like an antique gold. But they're very pretty. Okay. And some bullets. And they're in bronze and silver. That's really cool. I like those. <laughs> Oh, some more roses. They're so gorgeous, too. I love them. And I think I'm just going to leave them in the package because you can see them great in the package. And then, this was another reason why I ordered it, um, guitars. So, I love music and I love to sing. So, I would love to have a charm bracelet or a necklace with a guitar on it. Okay, some more of those fish hooks. Um, this person had a lot of fish hooks, apparently. Um, some more of the deer heads, but in miniature. Miniature. So, those other ones were really, really big. Some little flowers in bronze. Okay. And then... These, I was so not sure what they were when I saw the picture online, but I've since figured it out, and they are mermaids, and it's like just the back of them. It's like a, the back of a mermaid. Can you see her? And then it is two-sided, which is cool. That's awesome. You can never go right wrong with two-sided items. So, and this is like already open, so I'm just going to dump it in my hand. And these are, um, campers. They're super cute. I like that. That's very cute. That's the sign. It's got a little door. That's so cute. And then on the other side, it just has windows, like an actual camper. 
So that's basically double sided too. So that's really cute. Then there are these um, compasses. They're really cool. I like them. North, east, east, south, and west. So that's really cool. And some wrenches. That's really awesome. Uh, I can see some guy bracelets being made out of these or guy necklaces. Whichever one. Um, some more of those wings in silver. And I love these. These are gorgeous. Love, love, love them. And some cow heads. Or steer heads, whichever one you want to say. And some leaves. And I like those. Those are cute leaves. Okay, I'm going to pause it for just a minute. And then I'm going to clear this off and, and we'll open the next bag. Okay. Okay, I'm back. So, now... This is the second bag that was in that bag. So let's look at what's in here. And it's got a lot of stuff again, too. So super, super excited. Oh, wow. This, these aren't in a bag. Okay. Well, first and foremost, I guess, um, are these Tree of Life pendants. They're so super cute. I love them. And they're in, like, platinum silver color. So stinking cute. Yeah, love them. Okay, next we have these like dream catchers. Those are so cute. And they're actually really, really small. If you look at them down here, they're less than my fingertip. So that's appropriate for regular charm bracelets. That's great. I love those. Okay. Well, there's the bag for those Tree of Life pendants. But that's okay. I'll get them a new one. Then we've got these arrowheads. Which has like a plant or a bug or something in it. That's hilarious. Okay. These arrowheads. And they're really cute. Um, they look like they're tarnishing. So I'll probably have to... Um, Paint them with nail polish or something to keep them from continuing to tarnish. And then, that was in silver, and then we've also got some in antique bronze here. So those are cute, and those are smaller. And the arrowhead is actually made to look like a heart, so that's really cute. And I freaking adore these. This was one of the biggest things I noticed, too. Guitars with wings, and they're enameled. And there's several of them. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, at least ten. So they're so stinking cute. I love those. Then there are, whoops, these are stuck together, but there are some antique bronze moons, which I actually have this exact moon in silver, but not in antique bronze so i'm glad to have that added to my stash and you guys have no clue how many um charms i have my charm collection is ridiculous i have like an entire drawer of charms i love charms i collect them okay so here are some little bitty crosses and they are so cute they're little too they're like fingertip um, so they'll be great for earrings or bracelets or whatever. Okay. Then, oh, I love these. These are like, like roses or flowers or whatever. Um, and someone's hair. Yeah, I don't need that. Um, but they're really, really pretty. And there's several of those too. And then some antlers. Those are so cool. I love them. These are huge too. Like they cover my whole hand. So I have no clue what I'm going to do with those. But they're really cool to have. Okay. Did those. 
Oh, yep. And here is the biggest reason I wanted this box. Horses. I grew up on a farm. And my grandfather always had at least four horses. Um, most of the time growing up, he had anywhere from four to twelve. Um, and I also had my mom and my sister and I and my stepdad had four horses as well. Um, so I, in my family, you go out on a horse pretty much the first week home sometimes from the hospital. Um, and your parents will take you out riding horses. Uh, I was riding on my own with my own horse at age, by age five. I was riding before that. But we got a horse named Katie when I was five. And she was five. And she became my favorite horse to ride. So, oh, and there's some little cars. Those are cool. They're probably a specific model, but I couldn't tell you which. I know nothing about cars. Okay. Some antique bronze guitars. And they look authentic. So that's cool. They're not double-sided. But still really cool. Um, then some hearts with wings. And I'm seeing some tarnishing on these too. But they're still really cute. And I think I could probably fix that. So, there's those. Then there are some beads here. And they kind of look like lava beads. Yeah, I think they might be lava beads. Not exactly sure. But, I will check it out later. And then, boots! Aren't they cute? Oh, that's so funny. There's, um... I think four silver-ish boots, two copper, and one gold. So that's funny. Um, here are some other boots in gold. And they're like a dark, dark gold. Maybe even bronze. You might even call them bronze. And some hats in antique bronze. And four... Finally, there are some um, guns with a rose on the handle and sprouting out the hilt. Let me open these and we'll look at them because these are a little complicated. So, that is what they look like and they're really cool. And I am so sorry I hit the camera. And let me see, they are double-sided. So that's really cool. Double-sided. They're very cute. Okay, so let me pause again and I'm going to clean this stuff up and I will grab the next set. Okay, so back again. And last but not least, this was the last thing in this package. And like I say, I think I got this all for $27.00. Including shipping, I think. Or maybe it was 29 But it really wasn't that expensive. Um, so we've got some wooden beads. Um, and it just says Strong Wooden Beads by Darice. So there's that one. And they're nice. Okay, and then there are some purple glass beads. And... Just says strong glass beads by Darice as well. So but those are really pretty. They have um like a speckled effect on them of blue and red is what I'm seeing. Maybe a little purple. Oh, in the camera it shows up blue. So maybe it's blue. Um but those are really cute. Then Oh, I'm sorry. I hit the camera again. I'm so sorry. I'm really bad about that. Some rondelles in a antique bronze. Oh, and these are Czech. Czech fire polish beads. And they are... 
Oh, it says um, that they're a seven inch gemstone bronze strand, seven by four millimeters. That's really cool. And then there are these um, beautiful drops. They're in a baby pink, which you can't really see because my um, bead mat is also baby pink. And these are just teardrop icon faceted beads in a light pink glass. So they're very gorgeous. I love them. Okay. Then there's this strand. And that is so awesome. Okay, so these inside ones here in between the bigger ones, they're just little faceted rondelles in like a mauve purple color. But these bigger ones, they're a clear and then in inside each one printed on the bead is a flower with leaves. So really gorgeous. I love those to find something special to do with those. Okay. Then we've got some, um, glass round matte crystal beads. I'm sorry. I'm not even in camera. Sorry. Um, glass round crystal matte beads. So there's those. And they are also by Doris. Okay. And oh, sorry. I'm trying to pull these out here without making a huge mess. I absolutely love these. I'm obsessed with butterflies. So I have a ton of butterflies. And these are super cute. They're like a silver shadowy color. And they'll be great to add to my collection. I'm sure I have tons of them already, but... And these actually just say Butterfly Strong Beads by Doris. Okay. Then we have... Oh, these are gorgeous. Okay. This says Strong Semi-Precious Beads. And these... Oh my gosh! I'm so excited about these. And I didn't even know I got these in my package these are blue goldstone and i have none of these in my stash i have been trying to get a hold of goldstone for forever blue or red and i freaking love goldstone they're so gorgeous look at how much they sparkle they're so sparkly so sparkly love 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 them and I'm going to definitely have to find something that's super special to do with those. And something for myself, too, because I love them. They're so cute. Okay. And then these are pineapple beads. That's so cool. I've never seen anything like these. That is awesome. So I love that. And my stepdaughter is currently obsessed with pineapples so maybe i will make her something with it so those are gorgeous and then we've got some um teardrop beads in uh oh it doesn't say okay but these are by doris too and they're very pretty they're super pretty they're like a green irisy type color so or maybe a shimmer a green shimmer color but they're really pretty love them okay then we also have some acrylic flower beads no clue what i'm going to do with these because i really don't use acrylic or plastic they may just be plastic I'll have to examine that further. But they are cute. And maybe I could make some kids jewelry with them. And then last but certainly not least. Is this huge bag of pink bicones. And they're probably acrylic. 
and I would say a four millimeter. But they're still very pretty, and they definitely have their purpose. Okay, so that's everything I got. I love what I got. I was super excited when it came in today, and the bag was so heavy. So, um, I'll let you guys go. Um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, like it, and subscribe to my channel. Maybe share it with your friends. I would love to grow my channel if I could. Um, and if not, that's fine. If this is not your thing, that's fine. But, uh, if it is, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye!